Hello and welcome to my ninth video in thermochemistry. Um, this is not a curriculum review, but rather it's a self-assessment tool. It should take you about five minutes to help focus your efforts and give you a sense of how ready you are for a test that might be coming up in a week or two. Um, in my view, after 10 years of using this material, it really is the most important part of the materials I'm providing. So here's what the 10 sheet looks like. Um, these items are the curriculum items that have been prescribed by Alberta Learning. Uh, and they form the basis for the bulk of the diploma exam questions that you'll see and also any unit tests that your teacher might give you. Um, and the idea is you want to master these items uh, in the days leading up to the last few days leading up to the exam itself. So up at the top here, you provide the dates and you'll see here, the notional date is for the test is January 26th, and this person has started this uh, uh, cram session, if you'd like, in the last 10 days before the, the test. So this might be a diploma rather than a unit test, because typically unit tests, you don't take 10 days to prep for them. And here's your goal. Your goal is to get 10 on all four, 10 out of 10 on all 14 curriculum items, giving you a total of 140 out of 140 possible points uh, which translates into a 100% exam. And on the first day that you start this TENS analysis, uh, here's where you stand. You've got some TENS out of TENS on the theoretical pieces, but a lot of the quantitative work, um, you're very much less than 10 out of 10. And these four items that I identified in red are the, are the problem items. The heat transfer, the Hess's law, the formation enthalpies, and the calorimetry data. And this is very typical. The mathematical work is often left to the to the end to firm up, and the the theoretical background is well understood. You'll notice that there's a pretty good mark coming out of these totals. If you've been uh, sort of honest with yourself, straightforward, you're scoring 112 out of 140 with an 80 percent. So you're you're ready for uh, for. Uh, what may well be your diploma exam, the, the thermochemistry piece of your diploma exam, 10 days prior to the test. So we go from the 16th of the month to the 19th of the month, and this student has put some work in, in the heat transfer work, in the formation enthalpies, and in the calorimetry data. So they've focused on the, con on the quantitative stuff and um, let the theoretical review slide. And you'll see that they brought their total up to 122 out of 140, 87%. So this three days has really been taken advantage of. Three more days go by, and you'll see that this student has identified that Hess's Law is the last piece of the puzzle and has focused on that for the last three days and has brought their total up, you'll see, to 128 out of 140, 91%. Very good mark. And you'll see that while focusing on the quantitative piece over the last six days, um, the student has rounded out their understanding of a lot of the theoretical work, and this is quite typical. And it, any sort of straightforward, uh, honest self-assessment is going to show that this to occur. So this student has got four days less than to the diploma, and they're comfortably sitting at 91%. And so they notice here that while the marks are strong in this second unit on um, activation energy and potential energy diagrams and catalysts, it can be firmed up. So the student spends the last few days of exam prep focusing on these items, bringing their total up to 132 out of 140, 94%. And uh, this student can quite comfortably go into their diploma or their unit test with a very real expectation that they're going to score uh, in the 94% range, I would say plus or minus 5% on the test. Hopefully you found this review of value and you take advantage of it uh, when you prepare for your own unit tests and your diploma examinations. Um, in summary, uh, these 10 sheets do several things. They identify those areas that you've mastered the material and you no longer have to worry about. And this very typically reduces your anxiety. You no longer have a stress of what you think you know, and it's replaced with a lack of stress over what you actually know. It sort of gives you a plan, a roadmap to success in the test. It also identifies those areas that can use last minute review and attention. And quite often that's the quantitative work, the mathematical work, but not always. And finally, it helps you track your last minute progress and gives you a very real expectation of the kind of mark you're going to have coming out of the test or the diploma exam. And finally, I'd like to wish you good luck on your exam or your diploma. And um, we'll see you again in the next unit. Thank you.